terrible evil laugh. What is up, my strong heart crew? Welcome back to another video. Boy, that is a terrible hand heart. Today we are going to be painting on pumpkins, as is it is Halloween. Bring in the guest, bring in the beautiful star of today's show. These pumpkins, perfectly white, I found at Hobby Lobby, meant for crafts. I'm so excited. Now you may be asking, Strongheart, how many pumpkins do you have? Well, uh... <laughs> yeah, uh, we have plenty of pumpkins. So let's switch out the background so you don't have to look at my messy desk this whole time to a proper fitting Halloween orange. And now let's get together all four of my tiny pumpkins because there are three large ones and four tiny ones. And we are going to turn these little beauties into Harry Potter house pumpkins, Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Slytherin, and Ravenclaw. Now, you may be saying, Strongheart, Harry Potter isn't Halloween. Uh, yeah, well, when you go to Fry's, they have the Harry Potter Squishmallows drooped in with the Halloween stuff. So yeah, let's get started on the Gryffindor House Color Pumpkin. is our finished Gryffindor pumpkin, uh, quote unquote finished because it is disgusting and tacky. So we are going to set this down, let it dry, and then come back to it later. Because I, I just can't, I can't with that. <laughs> so next we're going to move on to the Hufflepuff pumpkin. My dad and grandma are both Hufflepuffs, so I'm really excited to do this Hufflepuff pumpkin. But first, let's swap out the background. Nice. <laughs> so cute. Okay, let's get started on our Hufflepuff pumpkin, but first we need to pick out all our colors. There we go. Oh, I already got paint on my nail polish. of the finished puffkin, as I like to call it, uh, next to the terrible Gryffindor pumpkin. I don't think we're gonna need to do any touch-ups on our puffkin because I think that turned out well. There we go, swap out the background for a sweet orange again. And now let's bring in this beauty, my precious, beautiful Ravenclaw pumpkin. I am a proud Ravenclaw, so let's get started. Here's our Ravenclaw pumpkin done. Uh, it is definitely tacky and messy, just like the Gryffindor pumpkin. And I really, really want this Ravenclaw pumpkin to be gorgeous. So let's come back to this later, shall we? And now it is time to swap out the background for the Slytherin pumpkin. Thank you. 
Here is our finished Slytherin pumpkin. I hope I did all you Slytherins out there justice. Comment down below what your Hogwarts house is because I would love to know if you liked the Hogwarts house pumpkin I made for you. So yeah, the Hufflepuff and Slytherin are my favorites and the ones that I'm gonna give touch-ups to are the Ravenclaw and Gryffindor. So let's swap out the background and let's get into that. I'm really excited to see how this turns out. Let's go. our finished Gryffindor pumpkin. It really still isn't that good, but this is the best I could do. And if I do more coats, the paint's just gonna start to get really lumpy. Sorry, Gryffindors, if you think I disgraced your house pumpkin. I'm sorry, I tried my best. Now, the Ravenclaw pumpkin's still drying, so let's set it aside and move on to the big pumpkin, shall we? Yeah, we're moving up in the world, doing some big pumpkin work here. I don't know, I don't know what that means, but <laughs> let's just, grab our pumpkins and quit being weirdos, shall we? So, here are our pumpkins. So, there are three of them, three of the big kind. And I am going to turn these into apples, Dips candy apples, with sprinkles on them. Gala, green, and yellow delicious. Or in proper scientific terms, Gala, Granny Smith, and golden delicious, but whatever. Let's just go. I'm adding a coat of white gesso to these pumpkins because I don't wanna have the same problem that I had with the Gryffindor and Ravenclaw pumpkins to where the paint's just really weird sticking because I really want these pumpkins to be cute. So these are essentially pumpkin apples. These are pumples, pumples, okay, pumples. We're gonna go with that, okay? So uh, yeah, let's get to work on that. They're all done. And now it is time to return back. I have had a snack. That rhymes. <laughs> return back to our Ravenclaw pumpkin. I am fueled by French toast and strawberries, so let's keep on working. There is our finished Ravenclaw pumpkin. Now I am quite pleased with how it came out. The Hufflepuff and the Slytherin ones are still definitely my favorites, but I can work with this. I'm proud of this. Here are all the finished house pumpkins. I love them so, so much. I am such a Harry Potter nerd, especially loving Prisoner of Azkaban. So there we go. <laughs> cool, cool. Now that those are done, I am back. My nail polish has peeled off. I have done a great many things in the space between finishing the Ravenclaw pumpkins and uh, now, so. Let's return back to our pumples. That's fun to say, pumples, 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 pumples. I love saying pumples for some reason. I hope you guys get it, like it's pumpkin apples. I'm not just making up weird names just cause I can. <laughs> okay, so let's do that weird hand thing and then now it is time to paint our pumples.
But now it is time to add the drips. Okay, play the song! Here they are done. I sadly didn't have any time to film me adding the sprinkles on the green one or the drips and the sprinkles on the red one. So to make it up to you, here's a Procreate drawing. So I decided to take all of my characters that I've created so far on this channel and one that I actually created off camera and draw them all trick or treating. There's Scoop the Ice Cream Sloth as a little cowboy sprinkle the ice cream sloth mom as an alien and then of course we have drippy as a dog and then we have the ice cream toad as a little knight and the unicone which i made off camera as a butterfly and juala as a skeleton koala subscribe to strong heart good message <laughs> you, you don't have to if you don't want to it drives me crazy when people non-stop say subscribe 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 because I will subscribe to you if I want to, but you can say it all you want. If I don't want to subscribe to you, then I won't. <laughs> but it's fine, we all do it, all of us here on YouTube. So now it's time to go in with the colors. I think it's so cute to have all my characters trick-or-treating in costumes together. Uh, creepily right, hi. <laughs> that, that was weird. <laughs> so I had so much fun satisfying satisfying experience coloring in all of these cute characters and now it is time to do one of my favorite parts which is add the waffle cone texture i had a lot of fun doing that and now finally i felt like i should add a little something extra so i added a night sky thank you so much for watching i'll see you all next time goodbye